by Brig and Trailer Friends. Uh, here's my 2001 BMW M3. Uh, you guys will see all of the details on the listing, but I just wanted to walk you through a few things on the car. Uh, as I said, to 2001, it's a slick top, so it's a little bit lighter weight. It is a six-speed manual. It's not the SMG car. Uh, it's only got about uh, 26,000, uh, less than 27,000 miles on it. We have done quite a few modifications to it. I'll just walk you through a few things. Starting with the exterior of the car, uh, we have clear side markers um, and uh, CSL inspired front end. Uh, of course, we have the wheels were done. We have HRE 540s with uh, their 19s and uh, Brembo's front and rear. Uh, the, uh, the brake calipers and the rotors have uh, been recently updated. They're about two years old, as are the tires uh, and, the, and the wheels. So the, all that is pretty new. The, the suspension on the car is done as well. Uh, yes, the uh, subframe reinforcements have been welded in. It's got a, a bunch of Turner Motorsport uh, uh, pieces um, in the rear uh, and their, uh, their caster camper plates on the front. It's got KW Variant 3. Uh, coilovers all the way around as well, so that's fully adjustable. You guys can dial it in however you'd like. Let me show you the engine. Okay, here we go. We have uh, we have a supercharged uh, engine in it. It is a fully built short block from RMS. So it does have forged pistons. Yes, all of the bearings were done along with that. It, uh, it has a lower eight and a half to one compression uh, so we can dial up the boost. I don't know exactly what we're running. I think 15 or 16 pounds. Uh, the supercharger, although this engine has been built for, for many years, I think it was done in about 2004, we did uh, do many upgrades to it. All of the brackets for the supercharger have been upgraded and the Vortec, which was a V2, is now a V2Ti. It has an air to water intercooler. I think it holds uh, five quarts, five and a half quarts. Uh, there is a heat exchanger in the front for the intercooler along with a pump. Now what we did here is we, we custom made an intake for the supercharger. The plastic piece is from Vortec, but there's a, a metal tube that goes down and places the air filter right at the intake on, these, uh, on this front end. And the, the tube itself is uh, basically mandrel bent. I mean, we, we custom made it and pie cut it, but it's all welded stainless steel. There are no kinks in it at all. It's completely smooth. That seemed to help uh, quite a bit on the power. When we initially dyno tested this car years ago, when it was first built, it made, I believe, 410 rear wheel horsepower. And now with the upgraded TI supercharger, the intake, uh, some cooling issues and some programming, we actually made 494 horsepower at the, at the tires. We'll show you that dyno video. Okay, a few other details underneath here. Uh, we do have a custom made Ron Davis radiator. Seems to work pretty well. And uh, the electric fans just for a little more clearance. Uh, as we mentioned, we have the Turner Motorsport caster camber plates. And uh, we also have a Turner Motorsport um, uh, oil catch can on it as well. Seems to uh, work pretty well. You can pull the dipstick on it and see where you are with with oil when you need to change it. Pretty easy to do. 
And then the exhaust on it is uh, a full exhaust from MagnaFlow, from the exhaust manifold all the way back, has their resonator and their muffler on it. And it's all complete high flow system. Now, one of the questions you guys will have is because this is not a kit directly from Vortec, it's from a third party company, RMS, uh, there is no EO number that comes with this for the car. However, I currently have the car registered in Arizona, emissions exempt, and uh, the tags are five years. We can check, I believe, or you can check the details of the listing. I believe it's uh, the March of 2025. So do what you will with that, uh, but that's currently how it, it is set up. Emissions exempt or registered right now. That is uh, about it. We'll just fire it up. The beginning of the video was a cold start. The car is currently warm, but let me fire it up and give you guys a couple of revs. guys thank you so much uh, good luck bidding i will do my best to jump on the bring a trailer comment section and answer any questions that you may have and uh see you soon thank you